Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I went to Ulta to pick up my free birthday gift and I received this. It is an entire palette by NYX. It says happy birthday on it. And I was actually really, really, really surprised about this. Like when I saw that they were doing a palette, I was like, what? At the time you get like a little deluxe sample or something like that for your birthday. But this was like a really, really, really generous gift by Ulta and NYX. And so when you open it up, I was just blown away. Like these are the colors that I go for. I absolutely love them and so I'm going to swatch them for you guys there you go here's all the swatches um, again it's like really really warm tone really nice I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect for the fall and winter time okay guys so I know that the lighting in my house sucks so you couldn't really get an accurate representation of what the colors looked like so I'm actually outside of my apartment right now using the natural light so that you guys can get a clear depiction of what all the colors look like. There's that beautiful green that I was talking about. And then you see the plums and like the champagnes, browns, plums, like you can see the colors a whole lot better in the natural lighting. So I'm sorry that it didn't show up very clearly earlier. And then I also did another round of swatches for you guys so that I could also record this in the natural lighting. So this one up here is starting with the top left and then going across and then there's the green and then this starts the bottom left going across. So I just wanted you guys to get a clear representation of what the colors actually, actually looked like because I know that the lighting in my house is super crappy right now. So I will be fixing that hopefully soon, but until then, I'm gonna have to do this. I am going to be showing how they perform on the eye. I've done my full face except for my eyes. Um, however, my eyes are primed. I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer and I've really been enjoying that. And so my eyes are ready to go to test out this palette. I haven't actually tried these out on the eyes yet. I've just swatched them and played around with them like on my arm and things like that. So I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna get into it. The first shade that I'm going to use is this one right here. And this is the sort of pinky taupe color. And I'm just gonna start using that as a transition shade. Do the other eye. So these feel, they're not like super creamy or super buttery. However, they feel a lot better than I had expected. The last time that I had used a NYX eyeshadow was probably years ago and so I haven't really tried them out since then because I didn't like them um, but I had been hearing that their eyeshadows were a lot better recently like in the last year or so and so I had kind of wanted to try some out but there were like a lot of other things that I had wanted to pick up instead and so that's what I've kind of been focusing on and so then the next shade that I'm going to take is this orangey shade and I'm going to put that in the crease as well so wow that is really orange really really pretty it almost reminds me of the oranges in the modern the orange in the modern renaissance palette i think it's called realgar realgar something like that maybe i don't know i don't have all those colors memorized but I am really, really liking this. I'm going to zoom you guys in so that you guys can see a little better. So uh, the next color that I'm going to do is this, the brownie shade. I'm going to just put that on the outer V and work it into the crease a little bit. I'm not going to take it all the way in though. I'm just going to focus it on the very outside and work it in a little bit. 
and do the same thing on the other side. Work that in, focusing, focusing it on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go back in with that orange shade, kind of put it on top again and blend it away a little bit. So I'm just going to go in and reinforce that orange color because I really, really like it. Okay, and then for the lid shade, which I'm just going to use my fingers for, um, the metallics pick up better with my fingers. And so I'm just going to do that. And I think I'm going to go for this color. It's more of a lighter goldish color. And so I'm going to put that on my lid. This color is not picking up as much as I thought that it would. I thought that the lighter metallic shade would be more of a contrast to the eye. So I'm going to go in with the shade over here and try to put that on top and see if it intensifies it a little bit because the other shade was not as impressive as I thought that it was going to be. Then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit so that there's no harsh lines and it's a good gradient between colors. So those are my thoughts on the palette and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, anything like that, please comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!